Ah, oh, there you are. Dinky do. It's just me, Scotty McClure. Welcome, 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 I say, to show 106. Just going to get you a little bit more lighting. There we go. Excellent stuff. You can't have too much light when you're broadcasting. I always say so. A little bit more light for Sunday evening show. Now, obviously, a little bit later tonight, formal dinner. So uh, just managed to uh, come and see you. And uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, lots and lots of interesting people joining us, of course. Wonderful. Live on a Sunday night. Scotty McClure live. This is the big one. The one everyone's talking about. The one everyone is watching. Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. And we've chosen Facebook Live to do our shows on them. And then hopefully we'll be extending them to other platforms as we go along. So a very, very warm welcome to all of you. It's Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. And here we are with show number 106. How good is that? And thousands upon thousands of you, we think around two and a half million of you have seen the Sunday night shows live on Facebook Live. So that's fantastic. Thank you so much. 10,000 of you saw last week's efforts. I think that is absolutely incredible as well, especially when I saw there were rage jar figures. Now, these are audience statistics that come out for radio stations. And I noticed one popular radio station this week had 2,000 thousand listeners and their sister station had six thousand listeners. Scotty McClue very often has twenty, twenty-five thousand listeners on Facebook Live. Now that's incredible when you think about it. So there you are. So there's certainly a big audience out there for Scotty McClue. There's certainly a big desire for talk shows, for programs like this, where everybody can say something. Dinky do, says William Cameron. Excellent to have you with us. Stephen Rodriguez, lovely to see you. Roberta White, Danielle White, a shout out, please, Scotty. Always pleased to do a shout out, but you'll notice I've popped up for discussion tonight, one of our main subjects tonight, which is, would you trust somebody wearing a baseball cap if they didn't actually play. So I think that's important. Gus McPhee, Dinky Doo, and Thomas Cochran, lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, we've just started. Thomas Cochran says, evening, Scotty. Martin Monaghan's watching, Dinky Doo, a wave to you. And um, RIP Barry Chuckle, a very funny man. Yes, indeed, Maggie Burroughs. Thank you for that. Dinky Doo from the Les Hoy MBE Dream Maker Foundation. Dinky Doo to you, Les. Um, I would. My arboritus friend wears one and his plants are fine. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Good, good. Lovely to have you with us. And um, hello from Londonium. From Londonium, Malcolm McNeil is down there, obviously, studying Roman archaeology in Londonium. And the old Roman name for London. Good evening. Hope you're okay, says Angela Goodley. Absolutely, Angela. Um, we trust you with your hat. So, of course, baseball caps are good to protect bald nappers like mine in the sun. Well, I have my bonnet here. Paul Crookshank says, good evening, Scotty. Dinky do for Falkirk. Gordon Sterling, I shall not be able to watch. I've got constipation and a headache. Ah, yes, I think I know what's caused that. Ian McDougall, Dinky do for Lanzarote. Scotty, is that the Ian McDougall? Is that the drummer? Derek Jimmy Walker, where's your bonnet? <laughs> I have it here. Would you prefer if I wear my bonnet? Pete Price wears one, says Ken Shiver. I, I know Pete very well. I didn't know he wore a baseball cap. I'll check with him. Ooh. Sid Devine's watching and Michael McGuigan. Lovely to have you with us. It should be you can trust a guy in a black tie, says Gregor Fleming. Yes, indeed. Hi, Scotty. It's Gary. Um, Irene says Gary Stewart. So he's obviously talking to Irene. Think you do, Irene. Those who wear baseball caps and don't play baseball, like those who aren't really drivers, I missed all that. It was so much on it. It's going so fast tonight, guys. You'll have to be very, very quick to get covered. Helena Innes, dinky do to you. Lovely to hear from you. That's better. The hat on, Scotty. Should I keep my hat on? Scotty, can you say hello to my mum, Mary? She's a great fan. Her first time watching you tonight. 
Mary Dinky do Mary was obviously a big listener. I wore one when I worked in Amsterdam. Uh, so there we are. Uh, Dinky do Scotty. Good evening, says Liz Boyd. Fred Dibner. Always bore a bonnet, Fred. What a fabulous, fabulous man, Fred. Dinky do. Any single mums looking for a baseball cap? Scotty without a bonnet's like a coat bridge. Jakey without a bottle of bucky, says Robbie Crossan. Thank you for that, Robbie. That is lovely. Get a New York City baseball cap, Scotty, says David Rendell. So there we are. I did have a go at the rounders once, but I wasn't terribly good. But I've never played baseball. Good evening, Scotty, says Neil O'Gormley. Guys, hat on or hat off? I leave it up to you. Hat on uh, or hat off? Up to yourself. Sharing your live link, Scotty McClure, on taking Scotland back. Scooby-Doo, Henry Newton, thank you for that. Very much appreciated. What about a polis with a gun and a baseball cap? Aha! So there we are. Uh, tattoo a saltire on your head, Scotty, says Ian Johnson. Now, if you look up YouTube, you'll hear Scotty McClure with his St. Andrew's Day address to the Falkland Islands. Right, we were on the radio station in the Falklands, and it gives you the history of the saltire. Off, says Lee Shanley. Right, is the hat staying off? I ask you. Uh, Scott, Sherlock Holmes, half on, half off. Half on, half off. What sort of back of the head like that? We'll see what's going on there. John Bobs is watching Dinky Do. Uh, Christopher Jonesy Boy Jones. Good morning from Australia, folks. Wearing baseball caps for years, especially over here. Great protection from the sun as melanoma. A big thing here, says Ali Henning in Oz in Australia. Darren Proctor's watching Dinky Do, one of the finest broadcasters in the world. Dinky Do to you. Uh, should we sell? I missed that there. Hi, Scotty. It's Gary Irene Callum Stewart from Glen Boyd. We're watching you on holiday in Bologna. Bologna, yes, in Italy, see, si, see. Si. Uh, on, on and on, says Liz Boyd. I'm going on and on, or you want the, the cap on and on. Class Scotty, says Scott Sherlock Holmes. Dinky you do? Well, Scott Sherlock Holmes, you are a great detective. I'll tell you that for nothing. Neil Half is watching Dinky Do, Neil. Lovely to have you with us. I looked up some of your vids on YouTube from your radio days. Very funny, says Neil O'Gormley. Well, we hope so, Neil. Uh, it's good to have your hat off, says Angela Goodlight. Yeah, I'm getting a bit thin in the top, Angela. Hello, Scotty Dinky Do, Mr. McClure, says John Kinnear. Lovely to have you with us, John. Turn your cap back to front, Scotty. Does that not look a wee bit silly? Is that not as if you were <laughs> on, some, on an old motorcycle or something like that? I challenge you to wear a baseball cap on next week's show. Cap on. Martin Doran says, hats on, pal. John Gray's watching. Dinky do. Barry O'Neill, of course. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky do as well. Now, do you think, is the bonnet better like that? It's a bit Frank Spencer. I have to say, hello, pal. Says Thomas Hamilton. Hello to you, pal. Ronnie Stevenson, a very fine man. Ronnie, you know about hats. You're an angler, right? And, and, and I've heard you like to do a bit of angling, you know, all that sort of stuff. How do you, you must want to wear something for the midges when you're sitting out in the river of a summer's evening. Howdy McClure, says Ronnie Stevenson. Howdy, Mr. Stevenson. So there we are. Scotty the Rapper. Oh, absolutely. Eminem. Lovely, lovely. Uh, lovely sweets, lovely sweets. And the Rapper, of course, the big the big yellow bag. Very nice. Frank Crombie. Dinky do be crafty, says no. No what, be crafty. No to what. So there you are. No means no. Wear it properly. Oh, sorry. Yes. Bit of respect. Wear the hat properly or not at all. As we say, hope you've had a good weekend, Thomas Hamilton. I have, Thomas, and I hope you've had a good weekend, dear boy. Now, lots and lots to talk about. We've had a fair bit of action this week about explaining to the Scots that if they became independent, Her Majesty the Queen would still be the monarch. And I've had so many dafties on. Oh, big argument. You'll see it there. Massive argument. Scotty, do you think Scottish water is good in terms of value, considering summers are going to get drier down south? Well, I don't know. I wouldn't advise anybody on investments. Uh, Lynn wants to know if you want a cup of tea, says Derek Doran. Yes, I do, Derek. I would love a cup of tea. Hi, Scotty. How are you tonight, says Frank Crombie. 
Amazing. Sorry it's a bit late tonight, guys. Formal dinner tonight. So there we are, addressing the haggis. Very, very nice. Uh, need a pipe with the hat, Scotty? Yes, I used to have a pipe. Scott Sherlock Holmes, you'll have a hooker. No problem, if you'll pardon the expression. Uh, yes, I did. Remember the big hooked pipes that Sherlock smoked? I think there was a Meerschaum in it as well. Scotty, the man who puts the C in wrapper. There we are. Love a cream tea, says Derek Joey Walker. We like a cream tea, Derek Joey Walker. A big shout for Rebecca, Scotty, please, says Frank Crombie. Of course, Frank, not a problem at all. So, guys, a very, very busy week on Scotty McClure. Over 10,000 of you watching this week's offerings. Two and a half million of you looking at all the Facebook. And as I say, we've got results for radio stations this week. And one of the excellent stations has got 2,000 people listening and its sister station has got 6,000 people listening per week. And of course, when Scotty McClure was doing his stuff, he had, um, what would it be, 1.2 million people listening to the show every single week. Amazing, 1.2 million. Scotty, can you say hi to Margaret Campbell? Very nice with Neeps, the haggis. Yes. Your neeps, you can't beat your neeps, I always say. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live, Sunday night. Nothing gets past me. Haggis, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Yes, Haggis, Marvel stuff. Any news about TV or radio, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. I won't know till about the end of August, early September, Steve. That's when people get back into the stride. We do have a Century 105 reunion for the staff from uh, 20 years ago, Century, September 1998, when we set up Century 105 across the northwest of England. Still hope you get a show soon, says Liz Lai. Thank you, Liz. I hope we do. Oi, oi, says Sharice. Lovely to have you with us, Sharice. That's excellent. Big shout out to my daughter, Annie. Our safe arrival of her baby girl, Ruby Ray. Julie and Scott, we say blessings and welcome to Ruby Ray. Lovely. Welcome to the valley. Um, hello, Dinky, says Sharice. Hello, Sharice. And uh, looking for my long-lost mum, she reeks of haggis, says Sherlock. Right, if we see her about. Scotty, what did you have for your dinner tonight? It was beautiful. It was salmon tonight. So there we are. And um, beautiful potatoes. Um, fit like for Peter Heed, Scotty. I fit like yourself now. Uh, I'm hoping you're all right, because it is a bit blurry out in the first there at uh, Peter Heed. And uh, probably just kind of the same kind of thing. Do not to broke, eh? Excellent stuff. Oi, oi. Cruise and Scotty. Hello there, pal. This is Jerry McGurk. Hello, Jerry. Yes, Scotty, yes. So, guys, we are definitely cracking it. Keep the sharing going. Can we have a share just now? So there we are. I'm broadcasting from a secret location. But uh, back in McClure Towers very soon. It's not safe on the roads nowadays, Scotty. I think it's the females. Is this driving? Um, Karmic McCusker is watching Dinky Do Karmic. Um, Dulcifer, Dulcifer, says uh, Julianne Scott. What's that, Julianne, in Welsh? Have I said it right? Uh, Patadun, Ken, 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 says Sherry, Sherry, says Fife, so she Ken's Ken. Uh, salmon with new potatoes, lovely. Peterhead Vash. Is really good, says B. Crofty. In light of the new Mamma Mia film, sing us a bit of your favourite ABBA song. Oh, Lisa, I can't do because of copyright reasons, but I could sing you so many ABBA songs. Wonderful. Thank you for the music. Uh, Andy Craig, Dinky Do, Sharice, shout out, please, says Derek Anderson. I don't see any reason why not, Derek. Can we share, guys? Let's have a share. Share, 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 share. I'm trying to see if we've got uh, the time. Yes, we've definitely got the time for a share tonight. So there we are. A little bit late in starting. Anybody know what time we actually started? I forgot to check. It doesn't really matter because... We're not meeting the network here. It's not like, say, for instance, ITV, when you have to run to the second and meet the network at the news. Of course, I did a lot of work 
with ITV. So I know these things, you see. Thank you very much in Welsh, says Julianne Scott. I thank you, Julianne. Welcome, welcome. Uh, share, share, share. Thanks, says Derek Anderson. 2120, says Gary Clausen. What happens then, Gary? Are you getting married? Um, oh, no, 2120. Sorry, it's 2120. Is it, no, it's not 21. Oh, it's 2120 we started. Yes, a little bit late. 13 minutes ago, no problem at all. So there we are. So we say 2120. So we're on on just to the back of 10. That will sort that. Gordon Sterling's come back and joined us there. He's gone incognito. Now, I don't know where cognito is, but anyway, he's gone into it. Uh, so there you go. I also don't know where jeopardy is, but I'm going there because somebody said there are thousands of jobs in jeopardy. You know, this must be Brexit. So there we go. Um, I can't do it. I've shared you too much. I'm banned. Banned. Paul Maxwell, Dinky Doo, and Howard Kopich. Gaynor Rooney watching Dinky Doo. A wave to all you guys. Lovely to have you with us. Now, last week we mentioned my eyes have a cold nose. Does anybody remember? And have you got a result? What does that mean? My eyes have a cold nose. Um, I'm too young to get married. I'm only 18. So there we are. And uh, yes, indeed, haggis on a pizza. Don't be getting married at 18. For goodness sake, people get married now around the 37, 40 mark, that sort of thing. Uh, haggis on a pizza. Mmm, a haggis pizza. Is that a common thing, guys? A haggis pizza? Wadge is watching, Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. Would you like to buy one of my top of the range Barber's chairs. Barber, the barber. Yes, so you bought Barber's chairs. Now, I saw you sitting on one. It looked very good. It could have done with some wheels and maybe a wee gardener 2XL uh, two or something like that. Was it was that a 2XL or was it a 2L gardener? What was the wee two-cylinder? Come on, Gordon. Start to waken up, son, and provide a bit of information. Um, a bit of Neil Diamond, Scotty. Oh, wonderful. Sweet Caroline. Um, I got married at 28, says Wadge. Well, 28, bit on the young side, Wadge. But I do understand, you know. Obviously, you're an enthusiast. Dinky do, Scotty. Hi, Denise, says Stephen Dunn. Always hated haggis, says Liz Boyd. Hang on a sec, guys. Why, Liz, did you hate the haggis? Because I would have thought haggis was rather a nice dish. So there we are. I love haggis says Andy Hughes. I'm not surprised, Andy. Now, guys, bit of housekeeping here, very, very important. First, we need to grow the show. I accept a plaza of derision on my merits, so there's no charge for the programs. If you're feeling flush, you want to stake a couple of quid, or a fiver, or a tenner, or whatever, into a Scotty McClure's GoFundMe, then you'll see the link in front of you there. If you don't want to go GoFundMe, you want to go PayPal, go on to Scotty McClure's website, you'll see the link in front of you, and you'll see the PayPal link, 100% secure, pop in a couple of pounds, a fiver. If everybody does that, then we can keep the advertising going and improve the equipment. Uh, no banjo, says Wadge, no banjo tonight. Uh, I don't believe in marriage. Loads of rubbish. Been Mrs. for been with Mrs. eighteen years. We'd have got less for murder. So there you go. I know a guy's been married twenty one years. He doesn't remember breaking three mirrors. So there you go. Eyes with a cold nose. A bowl of potato with a cold spoon. No, Gary Clausen. It is not. Can anybody answer this? My eyes have a cold nose. That is what we asked last week, and tonight. We answer it. Do you see how it works, guys? Uh, I'll be young, wild, and free. Someone like you, Charisse. You'll see the loveliest things. I got married at 18 and then again at 32, and I'm looking for my third future wife. So there you are. Uh, I know somebody that's been with her first wife all the time. So they, are, they, they introduce her and say, this is my first wife, and um, she's the only one. I got married at 18, so we've got that. 38... So Jerry, Jimmy Walker, okay, put down the ideal time you think somebody should marry. I'll just let the, seize the day here. Ooh. 
If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. This is very, very big. We are global. Two and a half million of you have seen the Sunday night shows. Um, Nay ex-wife, Gardner L2. Yes, this was a marine angel, Scotty. It was Gordon. It was in smaller launches. I think, or even you could have it either L2, I think it was an L3 you could have in a sizable um, cruising boat, single engined cruising boat, you could pop in a two or a three. I think Gardner just could add cylinders, am I not right, to suit you, or were the engines actually very different? The 8LXB Oh, now was that an 8LXB that was in the buses? Tell me about that one Gordon, come on Front up, don't worry about that. Little pause there, guys. Little pause, uh, we had a, a connection problem there. Some of you might have moved on. I hope you, you come back. No man's asked me to propose. What have I done wrong? You've just missed the leap year, Sharice. That's what it would be. I don't know when the last leap year actually was. Joe Maitland's watching Dinky Doo. Never. Don't do it, please, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Now, he's urging people not to get married. I think that's interesting, isn't it? He's actually urging people not to get married. What would your advice be? Marriage or single? Uh, is it Mr. Potato Head? So Julian Scott, potato, no! My first bud was something, something rude, I, I can't remember. Um, I had to put it through a car wash. Hundreds of Derek's in here tonight, says Derek Kloss. Yes, I think Derek's a very good name for the Scotty McClure show, uh, the Derek show. Uh, CB Radio for me, says Sharice. What am I hitting you with, Sharice? One nine for a copy. Uh, can I have a rig check, please? So there you are. Big Smokey on the road. Uh, Kenny McNulty, Dinky Do. Broke, hot, sad, says Sharice. What have you done? So there we are. Uh, Sharice, will you come into a bush with me? Says Andy Hughes. So there you are. I think he's talking about um, London, Shepherd's Bush. So there we are. Uh, Sharice Allison. I wonder where, why they got the name Shepherd's Bush. Sharice Allison. Do you want to be my third wife? <laughs> you get proposals now, Sharice. Single, single, says Ian Hills. Sharice, will you marry me? I or yes? Says Andy, do we see you? There's another one. Uh, Gonna do one, I think, says Sharice. Uh, Ten to one hundred time, says Ken McNulty. I'm not sure what you mean by that. John Allen is watching. And uh, Sharice is getting proposals live on the Scotty McClure Show, show number 106. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You are watching the World's Top Broadcast a bit late in starting tonight, but here we are. We're here now and get sharing and sharing and sharing. Um, I was 25, hubby 30, says Catherine Murray. And Catherine Murray, very nice lady. Uh, Gardner 6 LHB was the one um, absolutely bomb-proof and would run with little water and oil. Gordon, I, I have to tell you, I had black hair before I got married, says Derek Jerry Walker. So what colour have you got now? Yes, marriage, but only between a man and a woman, says Charles McLaughlin. Oh, very interesting. So there are, he doesn't like the concept of single-sex marriage. But then again, if you're not gay, uh, what's it got to do with you? Single, I've been married 12 years, and it's like living with my mum says Steve Burrows. Good, you'll like that. Scotty is the new Scylla. Yes, we're blind date on here. Question one to number one. Anybody, any questions for Sharice? My partner's watching, so I better say I'd marry him if he asks. Been together for 26 years and a kiss says Liz Boyd. Now, Liz Boyd, that's a wee bit loaded if he asks. That's like the couple that had been going for 30 years. And she says to him, do you know, I think it's time we get married. And he said, aye, but who would have us? <laughs> I'm all Paul Paul, says Sharice. So there you are. Sharice has checked everybody out here, guys. Be careful. You'll get snapped up. Ian Hales, Paul Doherty's watching. Dinky do. So there we are. And uh, stop bleeding me, uh, <laughs> says Sharice. <laughs> 
Hoshiat. So there you are. Wonderful. There, well, you're very, very popular tonight, on the series. Blind date, we say. I am the new Scylla. Scotty McClue. Derek, Jimmy Walker, Dinky Do. Grey, he says. What's that, what's that grey for? I think I've got it. My eyes have a cold nose. Right, says Gary Crossan. Do I win a prize? A wee bit of lateral thinking. Now, was it lateral thinking, Gary Crossan? Or did you check something up? I had an argument with that guy today because he keeps posting stuff and he goes, look it up, look it up on the search engine. And he puts up stuff. And, of course, it's very, very narrow stuff. It's not big thinking. Uh, silver. So there we are. Silver. Yes. Silver rod. Silver rod, says Sharice. Silver rod harrier. CBX. Uh, on it like a car bonnet, Sherry says. Andy Hughes. Mark Gippert's watching. Gippert or Gippert, Mark? Yeah, I'm always popular, says Sherry. So there you are. Right, we don't want the show to just be all about Sharice's love life on here. Uh, love knows no bounds. Sorry, marriage between any couple is equally deserving. Gay or not, says Ian Johnson. Good for you, Ian. Very modern, very up to date. We like to hear that. Excuse me a second, guys. Quick swatch of the coupon. Oh, a quick wipe down. Right, excellent. Now, uh, 10,000 of you joined us for Scotty McClure stuff this week. There's lots of it up there. Bit of housekeeping. Um, I've got the piano lesson. I would suggest everybody watches it. If you've always wanted to play the piano, but you never thought you could, Check the Scotty McClue piano lesson out, right? Seven minutes, and I'll have you playing the piano. Uh, Andy Roger, there we are. D104, over, what's your handle? Over. Um, I'm getting a residing hairline, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Derek Jimmy Walker, what on earth is a residing hairline? Um, so there we are. Andy Hughes, Randy, Andy, come on. So there you are. I've got all the CB people on here now, for goodness sake. Has Scotty McClure replaced CB? Or has Scotty McClure replaced television? Or has Scotty McClure replaced the radio? Excellent stuff. My eyes have a cold nose. Anybody else for that? We used to have our silver rod on a 30-foot scaffy pole. So there are uh, the things we did back in the day. Andy, eyeball, eyeball, says Sharice. So there you go. Okay, Catherine Delaney's watching Dinky Do, Craig Hastings. VJ Dukram, you just started. No, VJ, we've been running since, uh, in fact, we've been running... I think we were 13 minutes late. We've been running for 33 minutes. So we'll do you a bit more. God didn't give us the choice on who we fall in love with. So everyone should be allowed to marry, says Robbie Crossan. And is in the bushes, says Sharice. So there you are. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. Every Sunday night, we go live on Facebook Live. This is the big one. The one everyone's watching, the one everyone is talking about. Dinky Do is my handle from Scotty McClure. Phones have replaced CBs, says Andy Hughes. Of course, of course. Right, CB was a big he. Should the smoke room come back to pub, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Yes, I think we need to phase smoking out. Somebody's watched the piano video, have they said there? I missed that. 20 years married, wife spends more money. I'm going bald. I've got more hair in my beard, says Jerick Jerry Walker. Did I miss anything? Says God still yes, you did. We wanted to know how to strip down the gardener. I've still got a CB in my truck, says Andy Hughes. But is anybody else on it, Andy? Is there any point getting on it? Women are the great unwashed, says Scott Sherlock Hames. So there you are. No, uh, as good though, Andy, I love being on my CB. You saw the days. Uh, so there we are. Sharice has got her own language and everything. Alexander Shand Hudson, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. I hope you're well. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, first lot of the internet. This is the big one. Would you trust somebody wearing a baseball cap if they don't play ball? 
All right, that's tonight. Bonjour, says Alistair King. Excellent. Nice bit of lateral thinking there, Robbie. I'll announce it before we leave. Bring the fags back into pubs. It's a working man's thinking. Yes, but it also kills people, Sharice. You kill off the working man. And you put a lot of money in the pockets of the government and the tobacconist. All right? A uh, lot of money. Have you seen it, Ryu? When you go into a shop, the fag counter is all covered up. And they sort of stick their hand up and feel along and try and bring you out the right fags. Um, women are God's most wonderful creation, says Neil O'Gormley. I agree. Uh, I'm on it, Andy Eyeball. Of course, delivery guys wear baseball caps. Uh, not a lot anymore. It's good when you're running in convoy with another truck, says Andy Hughes. So is there still a network of, uh, of CB guys out there, Andy? Because that was happening, and you can talk to the other truck kind of thing. But, of course, you need to be hands-free. I would imagine you can't pick up your thing and press there. Hello, hello. One nine for a copy, please. What am I hitting you with? No, one nine for a ring check, wasn't it? Uh, my handle was Miss Duke Fire. <laughs> I like a fag. <laughs> Not a lot anymore. No, says Andy. Uh, well, wear a, best, a baseball cap next week for five minutes and see what people think. I don't know that I would suit a baseball cap. I mean, there is my napper for all to see, right? Just give it a wipe down. Oh, goodness sake. Right, that's my napper, guys. I don't think I'd suit a baseball cap. What would you wear in your head doesn't define you as a person, says Liz Boyd Willie. It used to be people thought it was roughnecks that wore baseball caps. Uh, mind you, I think, I think Mr. Trump wears one now. Poker players wear baseball caps. You see, I can't play poker with my Labrador now. Because every time he gets a good hand, he just wags his tail. That's the problem. Uh, so poker players, yes, knowing when to walk away and know when to run, know when to fold, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Scott Grant's watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet. Well, stop broadcaster. Try it, says B Crafty. Uh, they'll do it. Um, soon with the screen, says Derek J. Walker, and he mentions a well-known drink, which I shan't say. Uh, so there we are. Uh, good one, Andy. I've still got my Harrier CBX silver rod. I lovely soldering my mics. I love soldering my mics. So she's a solderer. So there you are. If you want, um, if you fancy, Sharice, she solders. And maybe she even welds. I don't know. Do you weld, Sharice? A power pack tape. Nice one, sure is, says Andy Hughes. You could fry an egg in your heat, Scotty. I know, it's very, very warm in our makeshift studio in our secret location. I can't reveal where I'm broadcasting from, but uh, this is our last Sunday in the secret location. I'm 46, I've been bald since 2001. Birds prefer a shiny heat, says Robbie Clawson. Oh, well, maybe McClue will be attracting the birds with his shiny heat. Excellent stuff. Right, that's what's happening there. And uh, do let me know. Um, keep your stuff coming. What's the time doing? How are we getting on? Yes, we'll be coming up to 10, but we'll stay on a tiny bit later. I don't wear hats, Scotty. Uh, yes, I use my CB every day. It's still very popular. My wee boy says, hello, Scotty. We're both watching in France. Hello to Alistair King's wee boy watching in France. En français. Je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français très vite. Si tu parles lentement, peut-être je comprends, oui. OK. Uh, Kenny Rogers, the gambler. Yes, yes, Steve, good man. Uh, well, smack my hands, Derek J. Walker. 10-10, we'll do it again. Keep the bugs off the glass and the bears of your tail. Keep the big one out of the ditches and the little one in your britches. And keep the lipstick of your dipstick. So there we are. Thanks, you. you're obviously giving us some CB chat here. Smack my top, says Andy Hughes. Love Kenny Rogers, says Sharice Allison. I wondered if you played a country and western record backwards, though. Do you think she'd come back and bring the children back and, uh, you know, bring back the car and the, the LPs and all that kind of stuff? Uh, Theresa Parapuli, <coughs> says Frank Crombie. 
<coughs> pardon me. Oi, oi, for Miss Stutfire. Scotty, any chance you could finish a wee bit earlier so I can watch the real housewives of Atlanta? God is telling, I think at your age, you're far better watching Scotty McClue. There's less risk. So there you are. Uh, David Forsyth Sr., Dinky Do. And what would Agnes think if she caught you watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Gordon Sterling? You would get your, um, your short block knocked off. So there you are. You would get your cylinder heat in your horns. Uh, Wendy says, hello, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Excellent. So there we are. You'd get your, you'd get your valve seats sorted. Tell you that for nothing. <laughs> you'd get your gaps reset. <laughs> There we go. You'd get your timing put out. <laughs> Sorry, enough engine chat. Heavy oil engine, not diesel, guys. Heavy oil. Très bien, Scotty, says Alistair Gingwe. Je m'appelle Scotty McClough. Uh, je suis le broadcaster dans la radio. Uh, excellent stuff. And just saying dinky do to everybody this Sunday night. I'm just clicking, guys, I'm reaching over, looking at something here. Uh, it's 9. I'm at 9.55. What do you make it? Donna Roberts McLeod's watching. Dinky do, Donna Roberts McLeod. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, can we share this broadcast right now? Share it to your groups. Share it to your friends. Text people. You're never late in a V8 says Andy Hughes, you can't beat the V8. I love that V8 engine that was in so many different vehicles. The old Buick engine. They put it in the petrol Range Rover. It was a three and a half. And uh, I think it got bored out to a three nine. Three nine injection. Uh, so there you are. I can smell the single mums in the chat. Uh-huh. Uh, heat gaskets gone, says Sharice. Sharice, how do you know about heat gaskets and soldering? Do you weld, honey? Let us know if you weld. Scott Beattie's watching. Dinky do. Scotty McClue, Sunday night. Nothing gets past me. And we're live on Facebook Live. I'm sorry we haven't had great lighting for you guys, but we'll get some more. Let me do a little bit of light experimenting. See if we can improve it slightly for you, because I know you love to see my coupon. Uh, right. Oh, oh, is that better? Now, tell me what you think of that. I can't hear my mic's broke, says Sharice. Now, guys, I know, I know I'm in the dark here, but is that actually better lighting? So there you are. Oi, oi, dinky-doo, Scotty. There we are, dinky-doo. Do you look a bit ruddy in the pus there, don't I? Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. How about that? I think, ah, how's that, guys? Is that quite smart? And uh, let us know what you think. Oi, oi, dinky do, Scotty. What's the best lighting? Come on. Uh, Bunny Aff, says Scott BD. Do you think, Scott, Bunny Aff? There we are. Do it. Well, should we do a bit of the show with the Bunny Aff? See what happens. Right. Quick mark down of the paint. Oh, and Bunny is Aff. How is that? There we are. Do you prefer that? Is that better? Be smart and up there. Oh, a bit of hair there. Marvellous. Uh, the light's okay. Is it okay just now, Eddie? Or was it okay before? Gorgeous, Scotty. So she's, oh, Charisse. What a lovely thing to say. Um, better the way it was. No, that's better, says so Steve Burris. Come on, guys. You're confusing me. Was it better before or is it better now? Change that bulb. So there we go. Your curtains are lovely, Scotty. Very nice, very nice, yes. Just had them put up today, had the place refurbed for the program. So excellent stuff, Liz. No bother at all. Losing the heat from the heat. Yes, we are, we are. We're clear. Him, says Alistair. Uh, love the curtains. Are they from Argus? No, Derek, do you walk up? No, 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 no. Um, that's the same hostel. You were in last week, says Gordon Stilling. I collect pocket watches. Let's see you, says Robbie Crossan. This is not... <coughs> pardon me. This is not actually a pocket watch, believe it or not. Woof, woof, woof. Yes, Rover. I'll get my white stick. I'll take you out for pee, says Sharice. Thank you. Sharice, very nice. Too much information. Um, love the curtains for my dinner tonight. 
So there we are. Better nice as channels. You prefer that, channels? Is that okay? Much better light, Scotty. So there we go. Now, <coughs> says Steve. Excuse me. I've had a wee bit of a chist, so don't think that uh, it's the talking that does it. And now, says Steve Burroughs, right, so the light's better now, is that right? Because we can change it, we can do all sorts of things, and do that, is that too much? That, 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 that. What do you think, guys? We need to get something suitable. So that lights up the cooker, and that that you thought was better, did you? Was that the one that you thought was better? You liked that one. I'll just keep on until you get one that you think, oh, that's lovely. How about that, guys? Uh, better now, the camera sorted itself out. Now, I don't know enough about this, but I take it the camera takes a wee while just to, to adjust. So there we are. And um, Cherise, you're doing an advent for McDonald's Hotel and Avi Moore. She's been up there. Is that a Wraith Rover? Says Derek Jimmy Walker. Here's Rover. Uh, there's someone at the window. Says Scott Taylor. No, no, there's not. There's not. So there we are. Nobody is at the window. Gary Crossan. Dink you do better now, pal. Says Thomas. Good, Thomas. You like that one. You think that's a good light. For Scotty McClure. Scotty, on stovies, do you think the square sausage or the link sausage, there is no meat in stovies, apparently. So there you are. Go past having more tomorrow, says Andy Hughes. Very nice. That's it. See you perfectly, says Robbie Cross. Good. We'll leave it at that. I think if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now, bun it on or off, folks. Uh, the police want you to come out. You don't live there, says John Adams. Shh, don't be telling anybody, John, for goodness sake. So there you are, squatter's rights, I say. Right, um, I was going to say to your telephones, uh, let's get sharing, guys. Slightly concerned about the time. Uh, now, I've got 10 o'clock, is that right? Just after 10 o'clock. So there you are. So we've got a few minutes still to run. What a fantastic program tonight. Would you trust somebody wearing a baseball cap? That is the main subject. And uh, also, going up to Scrabster. Andy, oh, very nice, Andy. There we are. What ward are you in, Scotty? Says John Adams. Oh, John, please don't come and visit. There's no problem. I don't want you spending your hard end on black grapes. Uh, responding to Sharice Whit, says John Adams. Bunnet has to be on, says Robbie Crossan. Spot on light, Scotty. Right, bunnet on, guys. There we are, enough of McClure sitting like this, the bonnet on. Ah, yes, much better. Big improvement, I say. Spot on light, Scotty, very, very good. Up the A9, excellent stuff. Yes, that's how you go, but be careful because you've got these average speed cameras, so you need to make sure that you don't speed. Uh, so that I do a steady 50, I think it is. Is that right? Uh, somebody with a baseball cap at the window. As long as it's not a baseball bat. So, <laughs> uh, the company I work for is from Wick. Oh, I write up the Duncan's behead at Wick there. And the John Ogroats. Marvellous. Well, it's good that the company's handy, Andy. That's marvellous. Handy, Andy. Did you like that? 10.03, this is Thomas Hamilton. Give you another five minutes, guys, because I think fair's fair. And um, I, it's dark now, says Sharice. What, in your house or, or where? Where are your fingers gloves, says Robbie? The mitts. I've got the mitts. Yes, I don't have them on tonight. Uh, only for cars, says uh, Andy Hughes. So what speed can you do, Andy? Uh, no, get rid of baseball caps, says Steve Burroughs. Should we ban the baseball cap? Right, Councillor Henry Anderson watching, dinky do a fine fellow. Nice to have you with us, Councillor. And welcome, I say. We'll give you a wave, because you're looking for a wave, right? There's a wave for the Councillor. Yes, a bad road, says so Sharice. Excellent, but the A9, does anybody remember the old A9? And can anybody remember kind of where it went? So there you are. Um, and as a broom nose, so she goes, oh, Charisse. There were flat out, 50, 50 flat out. Is that it, Andy? Uh, Brian Murray. So there you are. So the trucks can go 50 on the A9. Am I right? 
Yes? Have I got that right? Come on. Andy, you need to keep us up to date. Correct me if I'm wrong, as they say. Very, very important. Uh, I was up in Aberdeen for the weekend, Scotty. The roads are a nightmare for speed cameras. Oh, you could lose your license just driving along. Go to the shops. Scotty's got a teaser. This is Derek Jimmy Walker. That's a very personal thing to ask. Gordon Rysdale's watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Want to wave, Gordon? We'll see if we can catch you with a wave. There we go. And we've waved. Uh, Steve Burrows says, Yes, yes, Scotty. I've travelled it many a time. Frank Crombie, the old A9. Now, can you remember where it went? Was it the A9 that went through Dunblane? Is that right? Uh, Methinks I shall partake of a can of beer. Yes, Scotty, my brother was at Cornwall. Uh, they are set for cars at 60. So there you are. So 60 for the car. But if you're doing 60, are you still okay with the average speed? That's what we want to know. I got caught doing a ton. A single police officer went raj, told me to get in the car and slow down. Good looks, does you proud? <laughs> Alistair Bajak. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. You're all watching Scotty McClure. If you're uh, an animal from another planet, if you're an alien life form from another planet and you've never heard of Scotty McClure, I'll spell it for you. Capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. That's the Scotty McClure. Capital S, small C, capital C, L, U, E. So there we are. Uh, wah! Says John Adams. Uh, yes, it was, says Frank. What was? Yes, oh yes, the A9 went through Dunblane. So you went round the corner and uh, you passed the big school and then you went up and you went through Stirling. Is that right? You actually went through Stirling and then you headed for Perth up the Sturdy Bray and um, all single track and then you got up to, you went through Perth the main road at Perth, you actually went through Perth, and uh, then you went through, wait till I see now, um, Dunkeld, and you went through Pitlochry. Oh, for goodness sake. And then you went through, what was your next place after? You go through Killy Cranky, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Gordon Sterling, find me first, pal, says Sharice. I uh, don't listen to any nonsense from Gordon Sterling because he's got uh, he's married to heavy oil engines and uh, he's got Agnes there as well. So there you are. So you don't get much change at him. I'll tell you that. Uh, good evening, Lord Scotty, son of the wise one, McClure. Alistair Majek, lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, my dear fellow. Andy Hughes, they do work hun. Yes, have you more? So there you are. You actually went through Animal. Now, did you go through King Yusei? And then where, what did you go through after King Yusei? Did you go through Inverness? I'm just trying to think. Uh, Transport Cafe in Perth was great, says Frank Crombie. Absolutely. And do you remember all the roadkill? The road was littered with rabbits um, and all that sort of stuff. You and Shanice should have a show together, Scotty. Thought we had one, the way this is going. Norton, Norton Moore, Newton Moore. You went through Newton Moore? Yes, all the shinty playing areas. Fantastic stuff. Can you see in Newton Moore and all that sort of stuff? When you were through Newton Moore, did you go through Car Bridge? I'm trying to work that one out. And then where did the road split when you were going, like, uh, through the Whiskey Trail off to Elgin? Things like that. Mark Semple's watching, Dinky Doo. Lots and lots of things we discuss on this program, guys. So there we are. Hey, Blair Athol, says Alistair Bajak. Yes, you went through Blair Athol. You saw Blair Castle. If you're going north on your right, there's an entrance there. In the summer, there's a big scout camp. So there you are. Over 70s should have their driving license taken off them, says uh, Sherlock. Uh, so there you are. I work for Exxon Mobil. Uh, so there we are. What's he talking? Stop talking nonsense, Charisse. Get on with the serious stuff. Now, uh, how's that time? Yes, we need to be going soon. Uh, what an amazing program tonight, guys. Lovely, lovely, lovely to have you with us. Scotty, something's taking 
the turf off my garden during the night. Any ideas? Might be a badger, Charles. Are you out? What kind of countryside have you got? You don't need to give us too much of a hint, but if you could let us know an idea. There might be a badger. I don't know. Would a badger take turf off the grass? Um, somebody may be eating it. Ballon Louis, the motor grill at Ballon Louis. Oh, it was fabulous. Uh, we got a lovely, lovely meal in there at the motor grill at Ballon Louis. Wonderful. Uh, Sharice is a disgrace. Can we ban her for a few weeks? Says Gordon Sterling. Shall we ban Sharice? Uh, let me know. Uh, Beridale Bray, says Andy Hughes. Now, what was Beridale Bray? Was that the, what I called the Sturie Bray? Climbing our way up to Perth there. How's the wee fox getting all Scotty? Says Kevin McNulty. Haven't seen the wee fox for a while because I've been in a secret location. But I'll be seeing the wee fox hopefully tomorrow. Um, Paul Sefton, Dinky Doo. Uh, Sharice is back on the drink, we think. Another great show again, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. I've enjoyed it, guys. Somebody said a lovely thing the other day. They said, never, ever, ever stop. The Facebook Live broadcast, Scotty, because they're very, very good. They put very in capitals. And I thought that was a very, very nice thing of them to say. So I say dinky do to you, and thank you for that. Constantly take that back. No no harm done. Surely don't like the banter, Scotty. So there you are. Yes, Sharice, he was going to ban you, the banter. Get it? The banter. So they are talking of a band north of Helmsdale. Right now, Helmsdale, where did what where were you going there? Golfspay? All that stuff. And then up to Wick. Amazing. The north of Scotland. Very much unexplored by a lot of Scottish people. Very much explored by, by people from Europe. Evening Scotty Dinky Doom, my friend, says Paul Sefton. They are Paul Sefton. Am I right in thinking you're from Liverpool? Am I ever got that right, Paul? Uh, it's uh, a quarter past ten. No, don't drink much, to be fair. Just take it back. I like a bit banter in a laugh. So there are Charlene, says Scott B. D. Andy Hughes, Brora, Brora, Gosby and Brora. But Brora wasn't the other town. There was Golsby, you've got Dunrobin Castle up there. Was it Golsby and Brora? No. There's Golsby and another town. There we are. Sutherland Shire, says Frank Trumpy. Absolutely. Jackie Williams is watching. Dinky Doo. You're watching Scotty McClure. We'll give you a wave. Now, it's time for me to go. Thank you so much for your company tonight. I've enjoyed every second of it. I hope you have. Spend the week sharing and sharing and sharing. 10,000 of you last week. Superb. My cat got eaten by a badger, says Sherlock Holmes. Oh, that's good. Berry Dale, says Gordon. I'm banned. No, fun, Scotty. Pretty fair. No, you're not banned, Sherry's. Don't panic. Dry your eyes, hen. Oh, that's a shame. The poor wee cat. I'm not from Liverpool, buddy. My dad and sister is though a lot of my family I was thinking Paul Sefton Sefton Park Sefton Park in Liverpool respect Scott Hayes and Hughes respect to you all you beautiful people and uh, I'll see you all next week at the same time there may be a pop up during the week make sure you follow all the pop ups and uh, Gordon Sterling still selling the bikes Bonner Bridge Donna Gospie Brora Helmsdale Night Night Scotty. So there we are. I have a heart of gold. I gave a homeless guy five pounds to get a bite to eat. The night's that bad. Sharice, you have got a heart of gold, darling. Night for you, Scotty. Dinky do. Night night, Robert Crossan. Night night, everybody. Thomas Hamilton. Good night, pal. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of we to sing. Au revoir and a cheery o. Ta la, love, Scotty McClure, saying dinky doo and taffer noo.